much an icon in the park as the waterfalls, the iconic red buses for many. Taking a tour on a red jammer is a summer tradition. The jammer bus tour is a perfect way to see the sights without worrying about if there's going to be any room up in the parking lots at the visitor center. Martin Sue introduces us to one man who's been driving for 15 years. This is my summer tradition. This is it. I love it. I keep coming back till I get tired of it. This is Russell Olson. Olson has driven this bus, number 84, for the past 15 years. Retired and from Florida, Olson spends his summers driving for the park. Russell gets to work alongside someone very special. Well, my wife is a red bus driver. Oh yeah, she's been a red bus driver for about 10 years. She started out as a, a clerk in the gift shop, and then when she saw how much fun I was having, she said, hey, can I become one? Russell and his wife drive two of 35 original red buses for the park. This unique bus touring program originated in Glacier National Park in 1914. The drivers are affectionately known as jammers because back when buses were manually driven, the gears would stick and the drivers would have to, quote, jam the gears into place. I'm standing in one of 35 original red jammer buses here in Glacier National Park. Olson makes this job look easy. Not only does he have to drive going to the Sun Road, but he talks about park history while he does it. It's, it's learning about the park, learning the history of the park, learning about nature and the, and the different glacier formations that are in the park. So it's, it's a very detailed training. Training lasts for three weeks, and every driver has a commercial driver's license. With almost three million visitors last year, Olson says this training is crucial while on congested roads. About 15 years ago, we were lucky to get a million visitors. Now we're getting three million. And all that has happened is it becomes very congested on the road. You have to go, and I always drive slow anyways, but you really have to pay attention because the road is narrow. Olson says he can make up to two trips a day to Logan Pass and back. In Glacier National Park, Marin Sioux, MTN News. And these red jammers are expected to become electric hybrids in the future to save on emissions. In fact, the first one is expected this fall.